Hola residenas, hi kings and queens. I pray that today I find you full of expectancy um, for God's presence, but more than anything to do this exchange that we've been doing. Um, I find you a little later today in the afternoon. However, I'm glad that I find you at whatever time of day you're watching this video. I pray that you exchange whatever it is that you feel that it's got you in a funk. You feel, you feel like it's got you in depression. You feel You don't even know what you're feeling. You just know that whatever it is that you're feeling, it just ain't sitting right with your spirit. And you don't want it anymore so i pray right now in the name of jesus that we lay it all down if you don't know how to lay it down ask god to come into your heart and save you so therefore you can live with a knowing that no matter what you're experiencing what you're going through what you're going to experience or what you've been through that god has got you and what does that mean as what does it mean when god's got us it means that whatever has happened to us it's gonna god is gonna use it for the best of our lives he's gonna use it to best benefit our lives whatever pain is gonna give you great purpose whatever hell he's making you more holy whatever that's been done that doesn't feel right He's going to bring righteousness out of you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, for today. I pray that everyone that is under the sound of my voice, Father, that they have great revelation, insight, clarity, knowledge, ideas, and strategies, Father, on how to break um, generational cursings into generational blessings, to break generational poverty in the name of Jesus and give us great wealth, ideas and strategies to create wealth. God will not just give us wealth. He'll give us great health, but he will not give us wealth. It is up to us to use the ideas and strategies of what he puts in here, what he puts in here we use it to serve others and that is how we have ideas and strategies to create wealth in jesus name we honor you lord and we thank you father for today we thank you for air in our lungs we pray for israel we pray for all over the world father that may be experiencing heartache turmoil just have your hands upon them father for safety protection peace and much prosperity in the name of jesus we pray amen and today we're reading from john 16 33 in this world you will have trouble but take heart, exclamation point, take heart. I have overcome the world. It, I, if that right there, take heart. And, and to me, what that means is our heart is what motivates everything in our lives. It motivates our actions. It motivates our brain because many of us think, oh no, it's just the thought. Um, no, whatever is coming out is in here. It's going to come out of here. And it's going to come in here and it's going to cause you to do things, to create things. Either we use it to create for God's glory or we do the opposite. If you're not for God, then what are you for? There's no there's no in between. There's either for him or for the other side. Um, and I would tell you, he's telling you he's overcome the world. So whatever it is you're experiencing, he's overcome it already. You're victorious. You may feel that you're not a value. You may feel that whatever has happened to you is affecting your value. I rebuke you can bind that. Send that lie back to the pits of hell where it came from because they can't live here. Right now, we are with the Holy Spirit. We are, um, what is it? When, as I've been mentioning that those, those bad, the, the, not the good fruits, the rotten fruits, the bitterness, the depression, the anxieties, the stresses, um, those things cannot coexist with the Holy Spirit. So what he's trying to tell us is to take heart. Keep, keep your heart right keep your heart good soil so therefore whatever he brings into your life you will harvest good from it because if our hearts are bad it's gonna make everything else go south bad i have something in my face i'm sorry that i keep on scratching my face um today's title is as advertised and let me begin lord have your way we honor you we thank you during a vacation my husband and i signed up for a leisurely drafting rafting tour down georgia's chatter to chatter chattahoochee river dressed in sandals a sundress and a wide brimmed hat i groaned when we discovered contra contrary to the advertisement that the trip included light rapids thankfully we rode with a couple experience a couple experienced in white wa white water <laughs> white water rafting they taught my husband the basics of paddling and promised to navigate us safely to our destination Grateful my grateful for my life jacket, I occasionally screamed and gripped the plastic handle on the raft until we reached the muddy bank down river. I stepped onto the shore and dumped water from my purse as my husband helped me wring out he the hem of my soaked dress. We enjoyed a good laugh even though the trip hadn't turned out as advertised. Unlike the tour brochure, which, which clearly left out a key detail about the trip, Jesus explicitly warned his disciples that rough waters were ahead. He told them that he'd, that he'd be persecuted and martyred and that he would die and be resurrected. Imagine somebody telling you that. I mean, like even somebody that I love dearly, like 
uh, this isn't this, this is gonna happen to me seriously i'd panic i'd probably be like what what i'd probably to try to do anything to get in the way of it and that's why i thank god that he doesn't tell us what's ahead most of the time like me he'll tell me to do something and then i'm like they're like i, I, I don't want to get off subject let me continue he also guaranteed his trustworthiness affirming that he would guide them toward undeniable triumph and everlasting hope if you want to know more about everlasting hope you can read john 16 16 to 33 Although it would be nice if life were easier when we follow Jesus, he made it clear that his disciples would have troubles. But he promised to be with us. Trials won't define, limit, or destroy God's plan for us. Amen. No, they won't. Because Christ's resurrection has already propelled us into eternal victory. I will tell you, you're victorious. Whatever it is that you're going through, it's sharpening you. I, I remember growing up, I had a lot of people that would pick on me, um, push me downstairs. And I never understood because I didn't really like talk to people. Because I've learned that there's a time and a place where you're activated to speak, you know, where you got the mic. And then there's times where God's just like, shh walk in the room be unnoticed as me and i'm telling you my growing up years when i was in school i was very quiet i would dress uh fashionably i would wear plastic clothes i, I just i don't know like i was very shy but when it came to my fashion and my styling i i i would wear things that i i i felt were like i like that right but most of the people were like what is she wearing a plastic bag they called me all sorts of names however where am i going with this what i'm saying is that i had a, i had it rough I so bad that I dropped out of school. It's not an excuse, but I had it rough. I, I mean, back when Barbie wasn't like cool, people would call me Barbie the B word, B I C T H. They would call me those things, and I was like, what? Like, I think I was like 15 years old. I, I had a lot of enemies. I didn't understand why. I was just very quiet. But I would tell you that when God calls you, and you walk in a room, you don't even have to talk. When people smell victorious, or they smell success, or they smell a threat you the the room will shift maybe it's just me but i pray that when you walk in a room and you're like what what did i do wrong i'm just loving on people and you don't understand it sometimes and i will tell you the enemy smells your victory that's why there's things that happen to you and you don't understand where are you going where am i going with this lord bring in holy spirit <laughs> and 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 it's crazy because i was talking to someone else yesterday and and this and i'm going on the subject of victorious how victorious you are because i was i was talking to someone yesterday and she was like yeah you know my sisters don't like me i don't understand like she's like i'm just trying to create a better life for all of us you know and you're gonna be misunderstood and it's like i told her you know your spirit annoys demons in other people's spirits you know you don't understand there's gonna be people that love you and there's gonna be people that just simply straight up don't like you and you don't understand it but i'm gonna tell you they smell victorious sometimes you don't even know it and you walk in a room and let the let the other people be confirmation that and i'm not saying if you're disrespectful and all of that no that's completely different. people probably don't like you because you could be disrespectful and people probably want to slap you with the holy spirit because i don't understand you that's a whole other video but i'm talking about if you do right by others and you're loving on people and sometimes like you're just so happy i've been in a room where i, I walk in and there's people that are so so happy and i'm like it could be annoying and i'm like uh-uh esme what is going on with you why are you what is going on and that's where i i hold myself accountable like lord holy spirit like feel me because what is it that they're doing they're, they're simply loving on people but i'm telling you those demonic spirits try to sneak up in you and your heart that's where they try to come in and that's why the lord's saying take heart control your heart you cannot control what is done to you but you can control how you respond to others so i, I don't know where i was going with that but let me, let me carry on to the question I was, oh victoria i was trying to say that you are victorious <laughs> people smell it sometimes you don't even know it but just when you walk in you change the atmosphere your spirit walks in and some people may flee out of that room but it's like you know what if you're not in belief and you're not in the kindness i pray for you and i, I pray that the lord uh shines his face upon you for whatever it is you're facing however i'm going to continue loving on others i'm going to continue walking in victory because where i go y'all that have been listening to me y'all are going because whatever it is that i learned i'm sharing it with y'all where i'm going the lord is bringing all of the people that i pray for all of the people that, that view me listen to me we're all with the holy spirit we're believers so we're all going to this place together in jesus name today's question is what what which wilds what trials are trying to define you seriously motherhood i will tell you is the most challenging purpose or calling that i have because it's operating in between fear and faith fear and faith and it's a process because I will tell you daily I fail because I'm like Lord what am I doing is this my ego is this pride or is this me operating in what you've called me to I don't know why I'm getting emotional but I will tell you but being a mother <laughs> raising children there's so much that you're called to do and to example and it's crazy because there's like I could be going crazy in here and it's like example strong and example courageous example love example all of these things and it's like how Lord 
And that's why I tell you that I'm on my knees. I'm like, Lord, I don't know what I need to do today, but you do. And I don't even know what's coming today, but you do. Prepare this mind for the unexpected. Prepare this mind to stay hopeful. But also that when something goes wrong, I know what to do. So I will tell you that um, the most uh, trying thing, trying thing that I've learned is being a mother and uh, raising children and at the same time operating in faith and operating in, in not operating in fear. But I will tell you that it's been a process for me. And if, and if you're with me right now, I'm praying for you. Uh, raise those children the way God calls you to because I will tell you, we try to do it selfishly and not selflessly. And like you could even do all the right things and, and still things happen and you're like, well, where did I go wrong? But learning that I was a wayward child, um, pray for my mother. I was a wayward child, but look at me now. Look at me now. I thank God. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that I wake and I surrender to God. And that is the greatest gift. If, when I see my children do that, that is going to be the greatest, the greatest gift to me. Because riches, materials, leaving all of these things, the greatest legacy to me to leave my children is to leave the Holy Spirit. That, that they surrender and they want the Holy Spirit. Okay, moving on. Second question is, how can you disrupt that idea? Right there. I disrupt that idea by bringing the Holy Spirit. I lay whatever it is that is trying to come in here and define me or trying to corrupt my heart. I, I, I lay it to the Holy Spirit. I'm like, Lord, this is your heart. This is your mind. This is your body. You created me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create in this world what you've called me to create. I owe everything to God. So I pray that that blesses you and whatever it is that you feel that is trying to define you, that you lay it down and you're like, no, I may have done that. I may have done this. I may have been this. I may have wanted to think that that was the best for me. However, I know what's the best for me. The only thing that I know, I mean, I know a lot, but the one thing I know is that the Holy Spirit being in agreement with God and, and, and allowing the Holy Spirit to guide my life, to give me wisdom, to give me love and to give me peace. In knowing that whatever it is that I've been through, whatever it is that I've created, whatever it is that I feel ashamed of, he's going to fix it. And he's going to use it to benefit my life to the best of his abilities in Jesus name. So today's prayer is God, thank you for the promises in scripture that assure us you've planned our path and remain with us and for us no matter what comes in Jesus name. I'm going to repeat that one more time. God, thank you for the promises in scripture that assure us you planned our path, each and every one of us under the sound of my voice, Lord, and remain with us and for us and no matter what comes lord that we serve others we love others no matter what we're experiencing because we know you got us we may not be know, not know what's going on or where we're going or what we got to do but for the ones that that need that i pray that the lord gives you great confirmation he gives you miraculous signs and wonders and gives you understanding uh he most of the time doesn't however i'm praying that he does for you um and in jesus name may y'all be blessed and know that um he's overcome this world so whatever it is going on in your world whatever it is that's going on uh, around this world he's overcome it so whatever someone may be telling you if someone is understanding my voice right now and someone's like bullying you someone's telling you something and, and you're living in fear worry and anxiety just know that whatever is said to you that you know it's a lie know that that's what the enemy uses to make us feel inadequate it's because the enemies or the haters know something sometimes that we forget where you're going they can see it from your actions from your content from your life from your choices from your decision from your studying the word and they're like oh why are you always reading the word because the word overrides what you say about me the word overrides what the world says about me because each promise everything in the bible says that we are favored wonderfully made we are royal priesthood and he repeats himself many many times in the bible and i'm like why is he repeating himself because he needed to remind us daily because we're going to hear other things so i pray that that blesses your life and i pray that the prayer today blesses your life and added value to your life and it has please share 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 i cannot stress enough that there's people out in the world that need this word and sometimes we're kind of shy and we don't want to share it but uh here i am this bold and courageous woman praying to be bold and courageous because i would tell you the lord calls me to say something sometimes that i'm like don't shoot the messenger don't shoot the messenger i'm just not the messenger but um i pray that this blesses you and today i am wearing um the sarah lash loaded with mascara 
Um, I'm wearing the Sarah Lash. I This is just like a casual lash that looks kind of natural. And Sarah, you can read on her on Genesis in the Bible. If you read on Genesis, you will learn about Sarah. There's scripture in the back. This is a clear band, Holy Lash. What is this, Esme? Lord and Esme Beauty Holy Lash Collection that na is named in honor of the women of the Bible. Uh, consecrated, dedicated to God. So when we put these lashes on, I pray over each and every lash. I put that oil on the box because I pray that when you put these lashes on, you have that perspective. You, you see what God wants you to see in others and in yourself i know it sounds crazy and we're like what yes i pray over each lash box each shirt everything that the god, god has that the god that god has called me to create i pray over and i'm like lord seal it activate it so when they put it on like they put it on with your holy spirit in jesus name i create this content content because i it's not even content this is what this is daily devotional this is what i read and this is why i pray that i'm activated and that i activate y'all that my activation overflows my love overflows in jesus name the holy spirit overflows on to each and every one of you that is listening to the sound of my voice that it, it you vibe to it the way you bump rap music that you vibe with it and you know that you are a child of the most high you're a king or a queen reign responsibly what does that mean as it means to reign look up the word definition of reign it means to res be responsible for a community of people be responsible for your household what is being responsible as may it means holding people accountable encouraging them loving them nurturing them mothers we nurture our children i will tell you we need to nurture our men we need to, and no, I'm not saying that your, your man is a child, your king. No, you need to nurture him. The same way that we scold him and, and tell him, like, I don't like that. We need to nurture them, encourage them, and tell them you're better than that. I love you. And pray over them. Put your praying hands over their head. Pray for their body. Pray for their minds. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but the Lord does. Uh, so the, the Sarah Lash is $9. I'll put the purchasing link in the description below. If you know anyone that likes lashes, please share, share, share this seriously. I'm praying that the Beauty in the Bible connect to activate this world. Um, I'm extremely thankful that the Lord gave me these ideas. Has it been easy? No, it's been a very challenging um, gift. <laughs> but I'm thankful for it. And uh, what I got inside of me, you got it too. You got that power. You got the authority. You've got the, the Holy Spirit in you that you can pray over people, lay hands on people in Jesus' name. I pray that this blesses you. I love you, not as much as God does. Um, may you remember that you're a king or queen always. If somebody speaks anything else into your life, thank you for your opinion. It don't live here. That you cannot plant in my heart. This is good soil. This is good soil. So I'm planting. There's people that are going to tell you things to hold you accountable. It's not going to sometimes sit weird with your spirit. But sometimes God uses your enemies. He uses people to speak life into you. And also hold you accountable. It's not always a good thing to sharpen us. However, use it to bless your life. So in Jesus name be blessed. Thank you for your time invested. I love each and every one of you. I'm extremely thankful for y'all. And I'm extremely thankful and honored. That you give me the time of day to speak life into you. To share the Holy Spirit. And to share God's word. Please share, share, share if you can. I appreciate it if you feel led in your spirit that it did something to you it activated something in you I spoke right where you needed it it's not me it's the Holy Spirit God bless y'all I love you and I'll see y'all tomorrow bye